In this video, we're going to be checking out the InMotion Climber electric scooter. I did a ton of online research looking for a scooter that had exceptional hill climbing ability, would be very lightweight, have good range, so that I could use it as a transportation device while paragliding. The InMotion Climber has a 35 mile range, a 23 mile an hour top speed, and an impressive light weight of only 46 pounds. All this in a scooter that retails for under $600. I'll put a link in the video description. You can use the discount code LASERSABER to get $50 off. Of course, with my love of alternative energy, I had to come up with a portable solar system solution for charging this on the go. After lots of trial and error testing, I did finally come up with a lightweight, compact solar solution that charges this InMotion climber beautifully, but we'll go over that more later in the video. I reached out to InMotion, asked if they'd be interested in collaborating with me on this solar-powered electric paragliding scooter project. They thought the idea sounded really exciting, and just a few days later, this InMotion box showed up with the climber scooter ready for me to assemble. All the needed tools and hardware were included, and in just a few minutes, I had this scooter fully assembled. Now it's time to take it out, ride it, and see if all of the research that led me to this particular scooter paid off. Okay, so I've been into paragliding since the early 1990s, and one of the problems in paragliding is that you launch off at the top of a mountain, you have a beautiful flight, and you land somewhere undefined, unplanned, and then you've got to have somebody drive out and pick you up. So you gotta have a retrieval driver. And for years, I've looked at these uh, electric scooters and other devices, and I've wondered about the possibility of using one while paragliding. So in order for that to happen, you need a really lightweight electric scooter. I mean, it needs to weigh under 50 pounds. It needs to have exceptional hill climbing ability so that you can climb up, you know, a thousand foot vertical plus mountain needs to have good range so that after doing that climb and the flight, you can ride back and not have to call a retrieval driver. So a couple things about this particular scooter. This scooter has dual motors. So it's got a motor in the front and the back. And that's what gives it its uh, climbing performance. Yep, climbing up another hill. So far, this thing is just doing exceptional on the hill climbs. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, look for some steeper terrain to climb with on this scooter. Okay, we got some dirt here. This will be better. Man, for just rough, super rough off-road trail, this, this is actually amazing. And this is steep too, like, like we're going up a, a really steep incline. I don't know if that will show up on the camera of it. <laughs> this thing rips. Oh, this is great. Oh, it's, it's steep right here. Oh yeah, no problem. Oh, that, that is amazing. I was really not expecting this level of off-road performance. Oh yeah. <laughs> I may have to take this down to the, uh, to the mountain bike trail and ride some single track on it. it. Seems like it would be a lot of fun. Okay, so I had to try this out on some mountain bike single track because uh, it just did so well off-road earlier that I couldn't resist. So, so far, it's doing great. <laughs> Woo. Woo. I need to charge up and I am really excited about what I have in the backpack here. So in this backpack, I have a completely portable solar system. And this is gonna be the first test to see if this uh, system is able to charge this uh, scooter out here. But yeah, in this pack right here, I literally have the battery bank, a 200 watt solar panel, everything I need uh, to theoretically charge this. So let's hook it up 
and we'll do a, a first test to see how it works. So this 200 watt solar panel is pretty impressive. It's about the size of a laptop. So we're gonna fold this out and set it up. I'll put links uh, to all of this in the video description and over at the Patreon. So let's open this up though and try it out. So even though it's incredibly compact, it specced at being a full 200 watts. So, oh yeah, that's, that's definitely a lot of panel. So with everything hooked up, it was time to start charging the scooter. You can see here in the InMotion app that the scooter was at 33% charge when I started charging. Okay, so I've picked up quite a bit of charge. I went ahead and moved the scooter out of the sun as well as the battery bank and inverter. And I'm going to be putting this away here pretty soon, but I just want to show where things are at now. We're getting 100 watts in from the 200 watt solar panel. The reason it's 100 watts is this is limited. This can't take more than 100 watts input. So that panel's producing more, but it's being limited here. I still prefer the 200 watt panel because on a partly cloudy day like we had today, or an early morning or late evening, uh, sunlight conditions, we're going to have a lot higher likelihood of hitting this at the full 100 watts. Okay, so a couple hours later and I was up to 57% charge. So this is a way to basically have free transportation powered by the sun. Okay, so after its first test, I can confidently say that this little setup rocks. This works great for charging the scooter. Whoa. Yeah, this thing has great ground clearance. I just went off that curb there. You know, I don't think I've ever really high centered on this thing yet. So short wheelbase and some good ground clearance. So it's a pretty steep hill coming up here out of the park and uh, zipping right up it with no problem whatsoever. Can use this turn signal indicator. I love all the basic functionality needed here for transportation. It's got the headlight, the turn signals, and this bell here to let people know that you're approaching. So I had a great time riding up uh, here to the park, but it's even more awesome knowing that I'm returning on energy, free energy from the sun. You know, solar really is the uh, future. And if you had told me just a few years ago that it'd be possible to fold up a 200 watt solar panel, throw it on my back and use it to charge a scooter with a 35 mile range like this, I would have thought that was crazy. But that's where we're at. Technology uh, just keeps advancing and there's definitely a clean energy uh, future just ahead of us at this pace of advancement. Well, that wraps it up for this video. Stay tuned for part two where we'll build the frame backpack for carrying this on the paraglider. In the meantime, let's all keep experimenting.